To date, about one in every 20 people live in mega cities. By 2025, this will increase to about one in every 13 people as globalization speeds up. Making the urban space a sustainable social space that everyone can enjoy has never been more important. Founded in 1967 after Singapore's independence, DP Architects has been a key player in shaping Singapore's built environment such as Orchard Road and Marina Bay. They continue to shape new environments and cities around the world with their people-oriented approach. Ever since our founding in 1967, DP has had the good fortune to be involved in a multitude of projects at various scales, from large hundreds of hectare master plans right down to a single building in the very same project. Over the years, we've also developed a methodology that is a multidisciplinary one. Our founders had a very strong philosophy, a very strong idea of what public spaces should be, strong ideas of urbanism in general, and that has kind of permeated through our current practice as well. We believe that the built environment has the power to uplift the human spirit and experience. That is at various scales. It's not just a quantitative use of space, quantitative designation of uses. You know, there are important things that are there. You know, there are important engineering aspects that are there. But this is just purely a background network. You know? It's a network that allows us to, things to happen. But how do we use the space? There are people who are intervention designers who are working on a much more intimate scale on how people behave and how they observe and how they can actually produce answers and solutions. And this part of prototyping to, towards improving our way of life. As planners, we must be much more aware of the more intimate scale. With a history of planning projects in Singapore, DP brought their approach, which studies people, cultural norms and the environment, to developing countries such as China. The replanning of Nansing Tech Park East is one example. An inaccessible commercial zone that was previously a dead area after office hours, DP had the idea to transform the development into a vibrant one, which houses technology R&D centers, mixed-use and residential buildings, and financial and multimedia venues. We developed three key planning strategies in response. One, interactive and integrated mixed-use. Promote the vitality of communities. Two, seamless and user-friendly connectivity to encourage communication and interaction. Three, unique and focused identity to create the tech park image, differentiate themselves from others, and at the same time, cultivate the sense of belonging. And all of this are in line with DP's people-oriented philosophy. The use of ESD at master planning stage can actually result in a lot of other good things uh, that ultimately will benefit the occupants of the particular development. Things like improving air quality within the city itself, uh, reducing carbon footprint, uh, make the city more workable. All these things can only be effectively done at the master planning stage. What is really unique about uh, working in this company is that we try to answer these questions both from a macro scale and also at the scale of the place. For us, placemaking comes a top priority for us when we talk about public spaces. We are not just looking at the form of the public space, but we are also looking at what makes it vibrant and what kind of activities we want to bring in. These are just some of DP's many considerations when they dream up ideal cities for people to live, work and play in. In the desert heat of Qatar, for instance, the 60-hectare Sea of Lusail is designed as an all-season mixed-use destination. The vibrant development will feature an interactive 2.3-kilometre waterfront promenade with multiple attractions. Qatari cities actually is located along the coastline. Their buildings actually at that time is oriented in such a way they can capture a lot of the prevailing winds and also the sea breeze that cooling the whole environment and they are very narrow anyways 
that allowed them to work from uh, one place to another because it's all well shared up by the building. The government wanted to have very good public transportation system to reduce the reliance on cars. But the, the local culture, the people, they travel in large families they do not have this practice of, of using public transportation even though there is a very viable uh, bus system. We had to study that. We had to study what it would take to transform a car reliant practice to one that embraces public transportation and we wove that through our entire master plan right to the building level, to the public promenades, the activities that happen along the way to make this place comfortable all the time, all season, all weather, to encourage the use of public transportation. Uh, there must be a traffic consultant and also the traffic planner who need to verify the infrastructure planning. They will look into the travel demands based on the development density and all those to make sure the, what we plan for is feasible to cater for the future development like for the master plan of 15 to or 20 years. Similarly, DP's concerns about livability and openness is what drove their vision of the Guangzhou Knowledge City Core Area in China for knowledge-based industries. Centered on Ziulong Lake, this master plan responds to the demands of modern society, better communication and IT infrastructure, a balanced lifestyle and environmental sustainability. In fact, the entire master plan revolved around this lake and we created a belt of activities that is centered to this core that every person living in this master plan will be able to carry out their everyday life activity. On site actually we found some villages that have special characters. Uh, we have successfully converted all this original architecture and give them a new life. For example, like some commercial activity and eatery. These are the small little things that actually enhance uh, the well-being of the occupants of the particular uh, master plan. Architects tend to think at the scale of a building. But once you think at the scale of a city, and a timeline of decades, not just the, the construction period of a building, a lot of things that are not evident become clear. The best way forward is balanced. We really achieve the planning principles and the goals in a pragmatic yet exciting and viable manner.